In this video, we will be going over the pre-operational system inspection for an ERAD Torque system. First, when you open the box, you want to make sure you have all the parts. This particular unit is missing a reaction arm, but it should have sockets, the controller, power cord, the ERAD gun, a bed plate reaction arm, a 90 degree reaction arm, a handle, cables, and if your system includes it, a gear turning reaction arm and a sun gear. Before we start setting up, we want to make sure the controller and gun are properly matched and calibrated. The calibration sticker is located here and it should be up to date within one year of its original calibration service date. With the ERAD system in the yellow box, you need to make sure that the serial number on both the control box and the gun match. This ensures that the torque is properly calibrated. This is not required on the ERAD systems in the blue box. Next, we want to inspect all the connections and make sure they are clean and all the pins are in good shape. This ensures all the data is being properly relayed back to the controller. Also, you want to make sure you fully inspect the cables. As you can see here, they are very flexible, but we want to check for any fraying, cuts, exposed wires, or anything that could prevent the cable from transferring the data. The best way to do this is to roll out the cable and expect the entire length. When using an extension cord, make sure the cord is a minimum of 10 gauge and no longer than 30 feet. You need to be sure to check the power cord's connections and cord itself for any damage as well. Next, we are going to inspect the gun. We want to check the splines here and make sure there's no noticeable wear or tear. We also want to check if the reaction arm is in good shape and there's no rounding out of the splines. Now, make sure the arm will fit onto the gun. It may be a little difficult to get on, but you can gently tap it in with a hammer if need be. Now that the system is all checked and plugged in, we are ready to start it up. Once the system is initialized, a blue light will appear on the gun next to system ready. If the system does not start properly, be sure to first unplug all the cables, check them, and plug them back in. When the system is ready to use, select presets, app presets, and whatever model turbine you are using and the application you are looking to perform. When you have done that, you want to pull the trigger on the tool to be sure that the gun rotates. You want to listen for any noticeable grinding or electrical interruptions. The system will say if the torque is invalid, but that is fine since we are just testing the tool right now. Now hit the switch to put it in reverse and make sure that the drive does in fact move in the reverse direction. That is the basics on setting up the ERAD Torque system. If any part of the system is not functioning or up to par, be sure to contact Torque Works and return it. If you have any questions, there is a user manual included with the ERAD that is highly recommended you look through. Also, there is a QR code on the front of the case that you can scan with your phone to receive support documentation and information should you need to return the system for service.